Is that a seal? Where? They just, oh my god, they're eating a seal! Did they get a seal? Yeah! <laughs> the seal's head just popped up right there! That's what they're hunting. <gasps> Are we crazy? That's exactly what we ask ourselves as we refit Tangaroa, a 1969 aluminum trawler, to get her ready to cruise around the world. The plan is to leave the summer of 2025. Will we be ready? <laughs> Who knows? Subscribe to find out. Blaine's pet peeves is this our windlass now i have grounded down and painted and primed it as you can see it's steel and it rusts all over our deck so he wants to fabricate another windlass so that's what he's been doing all afternoon he's been using um, cad and drawing out a new windlass case and he's going to make the whole thing out of stainless steel that's not going to cost anything eh um, but I'm happy for him. I think it's going to look absolutely awesome. But this is his new thing. So he is taking this off the deck right now. Um, yeah. Let's see what happens. I love when you get your head stuck on things like this. Yeah. Why do you love that? Because then you just start taking things apart. Well, I'm not going to take it apart enough where I can't put it back together again. At least not yet. We're gonna be windless for a while. Windless? Windless. <laughs> Windlessless. Oops. Ew. Look at that, guys. Crazy how much steel corrodes. And this is why we do not have a steel boat. Are these. Nice and greased. Can you get grease on my deck? There shouldn't be any on that part. Okay. see the size of the tube that goes through. Oh yeah. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't take that off to paint it. Me too. Okay, Project Windless has started. No, I'm not on that side of the windless right now. Oh, what's that? It's part of the lock for the shaft. Mm. That's all grease. Maybe get some red eggs too. What's that? Maybe get some rags too. I uh, probably should. It smells greasy. It is. More parts. I feel like I should go get you a tub. Probably. Okay. Off to get him a tub and some rags. Let's pan out. I didn't do this that. one too. I gotta go grab my um. Pliers. You wanna put all the greasy parts in there? Yeah. I got you a tub for a reason. I'll just put all the parts in there. Yeah. Motor out. Look how rusty it is in there. Yep. It's out. I just stabbed myself with something. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Oh ho ho. This is why I don't like steel. Oh, Blaine, I can see right through. Yep. Yuck. This is the last thing that I've got to get apart, but it just can't get the darn thing to. Is there a pin or something? Uh, no, there's two set screws. They're already out. Yeah. And I've got the gear moving, but it's just, it's like it sticks right where it is now. Oh. And I can't get it to move any farther. Oh. It's just this, this gear right here. Yeah. I got to get it to slide off. And, uh. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to. Huh. And there's no reason why it shouldn't. The I don't know. Just come right off. I'm cooking turkey scallopini. Sounds tasty. Lane's taking apart anchor, windlasses, and I'm cooking dinner. That's just the way we do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how I watch TV now. I make plugs while watching TV. It's kind of like multitasking, but these plugs have to be made. All keep and look at them all.
Remember how I said Blaine and I are really good at tearing things apart? Check this out. So yes, we tore this apart like a year and a half ago. Blaine got it in his head. Well, it's finally getting rebuilt. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Blaine, this actually drives Blaine nuts. This is not centered with the window. Look at it. So we are going to move this whole thing over to center it with the window. And then in here, we're building a chart table because we have a whole bunch of charts that are all rolled. Blaine and I are used to having them flat. So this is all gonna lift up and we're gonna be able to put our charts in there. Paper charts, yes people, you should still carry paper charts. But um, it's gonna be so good. And we're discussing the countertop and we're just gonna do a really nice piece of mahogany plywood with probably some really thick varnish or like a two part on it. So it'll be a nice solid, but this whole um, wheelhouse is gonna be traditional wood and it's gonna be like, yeah. Bathroom update. Bathroom update after six days. Let's see where we're at. I think we're pretty good because I think he's moving to the wheelhouse. <laughs> what do you guys think? I have a beautiful cabinet with two types of wood and yes it's not varnished yet. I have an area that the shower is going to go into. We are making the aluminum shower basin right now and the formica is on order and I have my sink. Look at that. <gasps> Isn't that going to be pretty people? I'm just not sure how I'm going to get this glass and the ceiling. We want to see the cupboards. Watch this. Ooh, look at that. I even have a fiddle. And there. Okay. I don't know how this one opens. <laughs> Guys. Oh, we may have to fix this. Not burnt toast. Does that mean I'm having a stroke? What does burnt toast mean? Do you remember? It means I'm eating toast. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, 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 Maggie! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking this out. Oh boy. Okay, you do that. Do you want the... Because these are going to be in the way. There's a flat head. You want the flathead uh, drop uh, drill? Um, actually, it's easy to get to. Maybe the other would horrendous. Well, maybe you should let him do it. Might as well save a bit of time. What? Might as well save a bit of time. Might he might save some of it. Uh, not this. There's nothing. I mean, there's nothing over here to use, and that's just plywood anyway. So definitely something I can destroy. Destroy. Yeah. Like I said, we're very good at destruction. Oh yeah. We have destruction down pat. Sketchy. We have no wheel, no seat. The steering is down here. Yeah. I hope we don't have to go anywhere anytime okay. soon. We are like dead in the water right now. We can steer with the engines. Steer with the engines? I'm a little bit scared about this wheelhouse because when I look at the back right now I'm thinking we should just fix that too because seriously that's our outside locker right there water just comes right in Oh my god, he's coming to the boat, Blaine. Phone Evan if you can, I'll just video. It's okay. 
Let's just enjoy the moment. Holy crap, that scared me. I'm out here putting milk in my tea at 7 o'clock in the morning and look at... I don't believe this. This is insane. Maggie, you're like going to be orca food. Yeah. It's okay. Around. You get thrown around like a little seal pup. Holy crap. Did you hear me scream? Hold on. I was sitting on the bow and I heard it. Like the second I heard it, I was up out of my chair. Woo! These guys are amazing. Oh. Don't understand how close this is to our boat. Come up right there. Maggie, stop. They are this water is alive with something. Two just here or three? Is that a seal? They just, oh my god, they're eating a seal! Yeah! The seal's head just popped up right there! Oh! A poor seal's head popped up and then the guy turned sideways and just took it down. Yeah, he just, he just ate a seal. I had that on video, the seal. Ooh, he is big. Three right here. So that was seven orcas? Four. No, they're coming back. They just turned around. Now they're playing out there. You can see his bubbles still. Yep. He's right there. Well, I gotta say, that's probably the most amazing whale watching I have ever seen in all my years in the water. Oh. His bubbles are still moving. Oh, look at that big guy. For orcas, anyway. Wow. Fucking wow. That's all I say is wow. 